Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Makah, Kadash, Barak, Adam. Uh, this is your brother, Kabash, Kabash, coming at you with another lesson, okay? Um, revenge, the title of this lesson is Revenge is the Lord's. Revenge is the Lord's, okay? Vengeance is the Lord's. Vengeance in the, in, is the Lord's, okay? Um, we're going to go to Romans 12 and 19, and it says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give unto wrath. Uh, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Okay? All right. Now, when you go into avenge, okay, this. Strong G, 3361, May. May. Oh, wait a minute. I did the wrong one. Strong's G, 1556. Ecticeo. Ecticeo. Sorry about Akim. I went to not instead of avenge. Okay. Now, let's go into that word avenge. What does it mean? Okay. To protect, defend one person from another. To protect, defend, okay, one person from another. To avenge a thing. To punish a person for a thing, okay? Now, who is that person that's on the main slate right now that's going to be punished? Esau eat him, okay? Because he definitely had a hand in our captivity along with the um, heathen nations, okay? All right? So, the Most High is going to um, deal with him, Esau, definitely, Okay? Um, now, okay, let's go back. It says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, okay? So, don't avenge yourselves, okay? Um, again, let's go into that word avenge again, okay? To punish a person for a thing, okay? Now, it's not our job to punish Esau. Why can't we punish Esau? Well, first of all, Esau was given the sword, okay? And Esau has a lot of power, okay? All right? Esau has a lot of power. All right, Esau gonna have you dead in a heartbeat. Okay, now if it's a situation where, um, say for example, your your wages are garnished and you know Esau is your boss or whatever, do the righteous thing, go to your, you know, I'm, you know, do the righteous thing, follow the, the process of getting your funds, you know, um, things like that nature. Yeah, we can, you know, we can, uh, we can do, but you know, if, if say for example, if. Uh, if, uh, like me, for example, I, I work for a wood, uh, wheelchair and transportation company, wheelchair transportation company. If one of my clients piss me off, say something, I, I can't say anything back to him because, um, you know, I can get in trouble for that because Esau got cameras in the buses. Okay. All right. So avenge not yourselves. Okay. The only thing you can do is that send curses upon that person. Okay. If they offend you. All right. Now it says, uh, let's go back. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. Okay? For it is written, vengeance is mine. Okay? Now, when you go into that word vengeance, actually, I had to go to Google for that because, uh, no, 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 no. That was the, no, I, it was recompense, I think. So, like, yeah, okay. Let's go to vengeance. Okay, when you go into that word vengeance, it means uh, revenging, vengeance, punishment. So punishment is for the Most High. The Most High carries out punishment, okay? Not us. Now, if you have a child, um, you're caring for a, a younger sibling or something like that, you know, you're the man of the household, you know, it's up to you to judge like that, okay? All right? But when it comes to certain situations, like I gave the example with, uh, with the check or, I mean, with the situation with me telling my client off, Knowing that Esau has cameras and listening ears in the van. No, I can't do that. Because if I do, I'm going to get judged. You know, the most I, you know, could call judgment to come upon me. You know, okay. Um, but, if, but if you have a child or something like that, then, you know, um, you can punish that child through, um, dis, you know, discipline that child. Okay. But, get, you know, getting off topic, um, let me go back. But punishment is the most high. Esau, I mean. Uh, the Most High is going to punish Esau, and it's already starting right now, you know, you know, his feet are, you know, getting weak, you know, okay, um, okay, let's go to Deuteronomy,
Deuteronomy 32. And let's go to 35. Okay. To me belongeth uh, vengeance. Okay. And um, I just, uh, the most I allow me, allowed me to read in Romans 12 and 19. Um, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. Okay? And again, the Most High is reinuating. Then Deuteronomy 35, to me belong with the vengeance. Okay? So the Most High is going to be the one that's going to punish Esau. Okay? And, you know, you know some, some of these guys are, you know, buying guns and stuff like that, thinking they can avenge yourself with the gun. Man, Esau got all kinds of freaking guns, man. He got all kinds of tricks how i mean and jake think he bad if he get like a 45 or ak you know esau has armies man esau has militias armies you know <laughs> esau can just he, he got them 50 caliper machine guns all that you know yeah man so it says to me belongeth vengeance and recompense okay now when you go into that word recompense it means to make amends to someone for loss or harm. Okay. Suffered. Okay. So all the stuff that Esau took you through. You know. The most high. Is, is going to remember that. Okay. He's going to remember that. Okay. Trust me. Um, It says their foot shall slide in due time. And that kind of reminds me of that. Uh, scripture about Nebuchadnezzar. Um, He saw the, the tower. And then at the, the, at the feet were like mixed with iron and clay. Okay, Esau slipping right now, man. His 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 uh feet are cl are, are are crumbling, crump crumbling, crumbling right now. Okay, all right, and um also let me see. It says for the day of their hold on, uh their foot shall slide in due time, and Esau is slipping right now. He ain't got a grip on things. Esau's power is slipping right now. It's slipping. It's it's slipping. The times are being speed up. It's, it's being, it's, it's being, um, um, uh, I've got lost my train of thought. Uh, Esau is losing grip on his power. Okay. He's losing grip on his power right now. Um, for the day, for the day of their calamity is at hand. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did I go? Okay. And the things that shall come up and the things that shall come upon Make haste. All right, let's look at that word calamity. You know, I didn't write that down. I should have. All right. Calamity, distress, burden, disaster of wicked. Okay. E okay. The hand was given, roughly paraphrasing, um, when I'm, you know, roughly paraphrasing, the hand was given into the world of the wicked. Okay. All right. Who is that wicked? Esau. Okay, he, he was given a sword. You know? Esau's rulership is declining right now, man. It's declining. Okay? Um, let me go to 2 Chronicles. Okay. Second Chronicles twenty. Okay. No, I think I didn't spell it right. This keyboard. Okay. R O N I C L E S. Okay, I think I gotta space this out. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, Second Chronicles. Okay, twenty. All right, twenty and uh, let me see. Second Chronicles twenty and fifteen. Okay, now behold, hold a minute. Twenty and fifteen. That's ten. Okay. Slocky on that one. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Mm, yeah, okay, all right. Second Chronicles 20 and 15. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, 
and ye inhabitants of the Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And thou, King Jehoshaphat, uh, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, it's the Most High's. And you see that apostrophe S, and Esau taught us when you had apostrophe S to something, that shows ownership. Okay? So the battle that we're going through right now um, with Esau is not ours. It's the Most High's. Vengeance is the Most High's. Okay? Uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Shalom. And uh, all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Wakakadash Barak. Shalom.